the next page the pattern paper has been cut to seven and a half and seven and a half then we are gonna make a nice big pocket the pocket is gonna be onto the left hand side and it's do have flaps so you can get quite a lot in here I did put pattern paper on it this is just from the off cut from this page and let me tell you your page that you have your pocket that you need it is a six and seven eight by I get the flap there by eight and a quarter we score on the seven inside we score a half an inch now there is not a lot of the paper left because of the width that we use we use the whole page so it is a quarter of an inch on the one side you just need to have a little bit so you can wrap it around your pattern paper and the same on this side to get your pocket if you don't have enough you can use a 12 by 12 black cardstock or you can just glue your black with your pattern onto your uh, main page page so this goes around and let's see okay on top of this this measures five and a half score at the half and we've got the seven and a half in the length I did put pattern paper on it on this side and this side I've made a notch in my paper so what I decided I will use this paper I'm going to use this the cardstock the pattern paper for a pocket I'm going to make another pocket that's why I did a notch in there so you can see it is a pocket now you can see I'm a little bit short I've got a strip here and my strip is 7 eighths of an inch and it's seven and a half inches and I'm just going to put the strip there and I'll put that over it and that will cover a little bit more of the black closure okay this now you can decide if you want to put it underneath your pocket there's the pocket if you want to put it underneath it or if you want to put it underneath your pattern paper mine I'm going to put underneath my pattern paper and I've got a closure with a magnet let me glue this all together and I can show you what it's going to be um, you just need to make sure when you do have paper with writing or direction that it is all going to the right size that is the nice big pocket this one I am going to that's how I put score tape there I am going to put it underneath my pattern paper you can if you want to put it in there and let that show the choice is up to you and it's been burnished well and let's just taking the backing off now you all know me by now I don't pull everything off because 
that is a disaster f for me that's gonna happen I should bring that one in this side so I can see where it is and I just gonna line it up why am I skew? I normally do it on my grid lines. I use my grid lines and that is a very nice guide. And then I definitely need all the help in the world to get something straight. And that is it. Okay. Now you will see I'm not even with this paper. I do normally cut it a little bit short on either side. And then we will use this for our pocket. But I am going to glue that one on first. Okay, so I'm just going to burnish this down. And now this is going to go up like that. And all that we need to do is a line of glue on the edge of the paper. But first, this is the closure. It is magnetic. I've got this. Um, it is five, five and a half score at the half and then, and then just one notch on and the width is two and two and three quarters magnets going to be on this side and that's how we're going to close it but I'm going to put the magnet on top of my paper. If you do it at the bottom, you put something in, it's going to catch it. I just need to know. Let me glue this on because I need to know if I've got that too deep or in if it's going to catch here. Let me glue this one on and I can show you. My art letter glue is working. It's coming out. So I am very happy because this is what we need to use if you do a thin line of glue. That's all we need. A thin line of glue. And let me bring it over. And that is it that we've just made an extra pocket and let's burnish I'm oh, gonna have to pick up some of my um, glue I was too generous let's see if this is working yeah so we add another pocket right let's have a look and see where this magnet is gonna be 
Oh, I might be just, just, just getting away with it. Okay, I've got my second score line. I need to do it on the first score line. The first score line, and that's where I need to hold it. I think I am going to have to move my magnet. Let me do that and I can show you exactly what's happening. Yes, I had to move it, but it is, it's better. And I just put it on there. So I will put something over there, but at least you can still put photos on this side, on that side. And the magnet is not in your way. And that's a nice pocket. Okay, so, and that's it. I just need to get some paper for that. I will, I use quite a lot of my off cuts. And I will see towards the end what I do have left. So this is the opposite side of this one and it's coming over here and this is coming here okay so that is in the next page we will still do some decorations and things like that but it's a nice space that we can do it so that page is going to go over and then we're going to carry on with our next one. Next one, it is so easy, beautiful and this is, I always say my signature page of this that you need to cut. It, the width is four and three quarters and the length it is seven and you're going to score at half an inch I just round one corner now this with this you can have it on your right hand side or you can have it on your left hand side if you want to turn it and have it on your left hand side just round the opposite corner and I'm going to have it on my right hand side and that is a belly band on this one my pattern paper I did cut that down to four and a half and by six and a quarter on this we'll do the belly band and the width is three inches by five and a half score at the half um not really let me show you this is what i do i've bend it over and i bend it over to see if it's gonna fit because this needs to be a nice tight fit and you can see they're not exactly the same maybe if you do the one side a half an inch fold it over score it fold it over and then i just fold this over and you can put it on your scoreboard then if you want to but you will get a clear crisp cut um fold and then i've got this this one is the same page but it comes out of the A4 size and that fits beautiful on the water on on the belly band I am going to glue this all and then I can show you so that is all glued down and it looks it looks nice. I, I do like it. 
So we are going to put glue on our flap. This edge here that's straight, we need to give keep it straight with the paper. Um, and come to my grid lines, lined it up. And that is straight. And just burnish it. Now we need to do a line of glue on this side here and then that is our side pocket. Now let me see if my art little glue is going to do it again. No, I was too excited. Maybe tomorrow. I'll give it give it a go tomorrow <laughs> let's do use this one and then this page will be finished and we can carry on to the next one and phew. Me and glue. Okay, let's burn it. And clean up. And we can put that on. And let's see. Yes, we can use that and you can see it is a very nice big side pocket and then we do have the belly band as well that is nice and big the next page we are going to do is I've done already it's just going to be a few fold outs designers paper that we need to put on and it's our fold outs they measure let me see. they um they overlap each other so it is six and score in a half and this one is also six and score at the half the top one it is four and score at the half and that's how it just falls over I just round the corners now what I'm going to do is the closure for this I'm not 100% sure what closure I am going to use for it firstly I am going to dig into the off cuts and see what do I have to cover this because I do have quite a few off cuts here and that is nice and big pages so let me see firstly what I can do this one I cut it wrong a half an inch shorter but it's still gonna work it will still work this is what I'm going to do with these ones and then I will have a look and see what I'm gonna do for the closure of the flap the top flap but it is when it's on the top flap it is you can get um, beautiful photos 
three by three three by four that you can get two on here okay so let me finish putting up my pattern paper and then I can come back and show you on this side of the page I just did a little pocket at the bottom here and it's, it's very nice and snug and you can get a nice photo mat in there this one I'm just going to leave it plain and on this side I am going to use this but I'm that short so I'm going to tell you what I do I've got a piece of cardboard cardstock and I'm going to do a corner pocket so all I did is I've put it on just to get the measurements I turned it and I put my pencil mark and pencil mark and then I took it to my grid lines and I'm just straighten it up and on that I going to score I'm going to put it on my scoreboard and I will score on those lines and then on this side okay and I will fold on the score lines then just cut the a little bit of the excess off I just eyeball it and on this side as well it's just so that you can have a flap when you fold it and then the corner we cut that out on the score line and this we can throw away and let's see I just need to finish this and that one so now when we put it on we are cover up that piece there and it fits nicely so all that we need to get now is some pattern paper to fold that and when you do put your photos in it will stay I promise you it will stay it is a nice tuck spot I am going to glue this on and let me position it so I am gonna glue that and then I'll show you so all you need to know all that you need to do is glue up to where you, my cardstock is I don't go over it just do that line there and let me do this one as well now I moved put it back and I'm just gonna do um, no, let me not that one. I'm gonna do this one here yeah, where they meet. So take that one over and that one and there where they meet. And that's it. If you do get a sharp point you can just around it I don't like those sharp points 
and we can put I can glue that in and then I can look for pattern paper to put on there okay. put it down and all I do is make a pencil mark and I will hand cut this and I will cut the inside of my pencil line and hopefully that will give me enough black around I can always go back and trim it more I will take my time with this because I'm going to straight cut and let's see what's happening okay I need a shiver a little bit to cut off but I think that is that is nice so what I'll do with that Oh, my table is so full I will put this on my grid line because I just need a straight cut and it's not that much that I need to cut off so what I'll do is I'll cut inside also of the line And we can do with this side as well just straight not straight that's oh okay and I'll cut a little bit okay so let's put it on now and see if that's a better fit yes I can see the black showing around let me glue this on this is really getting to the end and to that end there as well okay and then we can place it there is this page done and it is a nice duck spot and I did cover up the hole in the paper and I can glue that in let me show you what I've done I decided to use magnets for the closure and I finished my pocket I'm quite happy with it the small one on this side and I just put that print on there this one I w wanted to use the postcard but it was too short so I've put them together my magnets is underneath there and that close now I just need to tell you when I want to put my pattern paper on I could feel that this flap does not close nice properly because when I put the pattern papers on these flaps here on these fold outs it was became thick 
a little bit thick for just one score line where you can just fold it over so I did do another score line I hope you can see these two school lines so I put it on my school board and I make sure that it is straight and I went one notch on and it closed much better this postcard one was also left the same as this one and I've just put it on a piece of black cardstock and I just cut it down so that it looks good on the eye the black cardstock is four and a quarter by four and a half and then I made sure that my pattern paper just fits perfectly on it and uh, Here's my magnet. I put my magnet on. Now we will cover that and we will still cover this. I just need to keep on digging into the paper. I've got quite a lot of papers that I can use um, for doing that. But they are... Um, yes, I have to cut them down just put it on my trimmer and then I will glue it and this page will be done this is the next page what we are going to work on and I've done some prep work already and this is a simple straightforward page we've got a little pocket and that measure in the width four and a half and you don't need to have a half an inch flap if you don't want to and um, I do and then on this side it is four inches so your finishing um, pocket is going to be three and a half by three and a half and I've just cut a piece of pattern paper, designer paper, so I can fit that on. I just edge that a little bit and cut out the corners. So when you fold it in, it is less bulk at the corners here. Let me show you how I do my notch and this is this is the punch that I have I got this from work it's a corner rounder on the one side and it's a notch on the other side so all that I do is I put that down and push the pattern paper level with my black cardstock so it needs to be in position on your side and level at the top and all they do then put it in you know me I'm eyeball make sure that's about a finger yes that's in the middle and punch I still can't use my hand so it is easy to punch it's just I don't have the strength in my hand yet I'm still working on it okay and then when you put it in position we've got your little bit of border showing at the bottom then you do have your border at the top and that's that's all that's all about that so I will glue this on and I'm going to place it on this side. Let me show you this one. It is just a fold out. Okay. It measures 8 inches. 
score at half an inch and score at four and three eighths of an inch so this one and this one should be the same now what I also did I did cut a very small shiver of it a very very small you can cut a little bit see if you can fold it mine was in the uh, scoring line and it didn't want to close so that's why I've just cut a little bit off yeah I had my magnet on the wrong side but that's okay we will cover this and then I put my magnet on this side and then at the bottom or at the other side of my pattern paper so when you fold it it can close and this is the whole length of the pattern paper seven and a half okay so let's do this one let's glue and put this one in place this is a simple simple page but beautiful and yes I'm happy and burnish okay so we just need to get pattern paper for this I do have quite a few cutoffs here that I can use oh I do have quite a lot wow okay let me have a look and see what I can find and I will put mine on and show you when I'm done my page are done so this is what I use I try to use the same pattern paper that is the main page is and when you fold it over and over and bring it in on this side where we've got our pocket I made a little booklet this booklet is three by eight and then just score it in half and I just put the pattern paper on it and then there's this little tag and I think the tag is it's still wet I just finished it the tag is three and you know two and three quarters by four and a quarter just make sure it fits in your pocket and just put some pattern paper on it um, I don't I think I need to leave it out I've just done it and it's still wet just gonna put it now oh, leave it out okay so and this page is done we can carry on to um oops so on that side so what we need to do is this side the other side let me get all the papers together and i can show you what we're going to do 